What is going on all you beautiful people? Today I just wanted to drop in really quickly. I've been getting a lot of questions about jump rope, man. I've been getting questions about why I jump rope so much, why I started, how I started, what's the best kind of jump rope to use. So I just wanted to make this quick video on my personal opinions. Obviously everybody has their own preferred kind of rope that they use and how they started and, and how often they trained and all those kinds of things. But this is just my experience and it's completely changed my life. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's get right into it. What is going on guys? All right, so jump rope, why I started, how I started, what's the best kind of rope to use? So for me, the reason I started, I've always admired, I've always uh, been a fan of like MMA and like boxing types of sports. And jumping rope is very popular among those types of sports. And I've always admired, for example, Floyd Mayweather, he's, amazing at jumping rope and I've always admired him I've always watched his videos and it was always one of those things that I wanted to try because I was always into fitness my entire life I was always very self-conscious about how I look so I always tried to keep myself in shape tried to keep myself healthy I would always watch these people jumping rope man and they're always sweaty it just looked like such an amazing workout over the years that I've been going to the gym I've tried probably every other cardio workout and it's all been very boring to me I did run for a long time I actually ran the New Jersey half marathon a couple years ago but running to me was always there was nothing new you could do with it you just had to find a trail you had to find some kind of interesting place to go and run and you just it was it was just boring to me. I unfortunately running for me, it didn't keep me motivated. It didn't keep me wanting to come back. So one beautiful sunny day, I decided, you know what, let me go buy a jump rope. And it was actually this jump rope right here. I actually bought off of Amazon, probably for like, I think like five or six bucks. And this is honestly what I used for probably like the first five months. When I started, this was literally the only rope I used. This, like I said, it's cheap. I tied knots in it because when you buy a new jump rope, especially these kinds of PVC rubber kind of plasticky jump ropes, people always tell you, you know, that when you want to get it to the correct length, you have to cut the rope. But most people don't know this, but you could actually tie knots in the rope so you don't have to cut it. But yeah, this is the rope I basically used for the first five months. It doesn't really matter what kind of rope you start with, man. Jump rope for me personally was consistency man I just had to keep doing it I had to keep doing it trust me in the beginning I'm gonna try to attach some clips to this video so you can see how my progress went along but in the beginning man it was horrible it was horrible it was not fun my legs hurt I mean not that it wasn't fun I wouldn't have kept doing it if I didn't enjoy it but in the beginning whenever you start anything new man it always sucks all right it hurt I was exhausted my shins I got shin splints in the beginning and it literally lasted for a couple of weeks and it was so painful but even after the first two three weeks I immediately started to see improvements I started to see progress in my physique I started losing weight so I said to myself you know what let me stick with this let me keep going it's not that hard you know that the good thing about jump roping is that you could literally do it anywhere you could literally do it in your kitchen this is actually kind of where I started practicing was literally in my kitchen so you literally there's no excuses you don't have to go anywhere so I just said to myself you know what let me keep going let me keep going at this because it seems to be working it sucks but hopefully I'll get a little better hopefully my body will get more used to it and it'll get a little easier and it'll get more fun and you know what it did it took a little while some people I've seen videos of people on YouTube who got some tricks so much quicker than I did so definitely for some people is gonna be easier to do than for others for me personally it was not very easy to learn it took me forever to learn some of these tricks all right but the main thing you got to remember is to just be consistent man start with just basic jumping try to get as many jumps in without the rope hitting your feet that was honestly a lot of people will ask me how do the rope keeps hitting my feet the rope keeps hitting my feet how do I stop it from doing that and it's honestly the length of the rope matters a lot but it really is just consistency man you got to keep going at it your body will start to adjust to those movements man and you'll get better with time right I can't tell you how many times I spent an hour one day trying to learn a trick and I couldn't get it and the next morning I woke up and I went to do a workout I grabbed the rope and boom I freaking got it so it's really just consistency you got to keep banging at it you got to keep going at it now when it comes to the kind of rope that you need to use I like to think that there are two main types of ropes right like I said before you have these plastic 
kind of rubbery ropes and you also have beaded ropes which literally have these beads see it's just beads and then there's like this rope so it's basically just beads attached to a rope and these also come in all different kinds of shapes and weights and colors and it honestly doesn't really matter what kind of rope you use some of these beads are a little heavier than others so some of these ropes like for example these two ropes right here both beaded ropes both white beaded ropes but this one right here is a lot heavier than this one. You could literally feel it when you grab it. And in my personal experience, the heavier ropes are a little bit better. The rope I actually use is a custom rope. I did all these other ropes I've showed you. These are the ones that I bought from other companies that I tried. It's not that I didn't like them. They're awesome ropes. But like I said, it's all about personal preference. So like I like my rope a little bit heavier. I don't sell these yet because I'm still just kind of using them and testing them. But I had my own custom rope made. I found a company that makes these awesome ropes. So I actually had custom ropes made with my logo on it and everything. Plastic is very thick, it's very like, you know, so the handles won't break. And like I said, the beads are also a little bit thicker so they're a little bit heavier you get a little better response from the rope and this is honestly the only rope this is the rope i've been using for probably like six months now and it is absolutely amazing i like i said i've tried all these other ropes and they're just not the right ropes for me they might be the right ropes for other people but like i said it's all about personal preference man so these if you are interested i will have these up for sale in a little bit i'm still working with the supplier on how to get the logo on here because this logo right here I had, it's just painted on. It's basically paint, but I used this specific handle maybe three times and the logo literally came off. It was gone. So then we tried laser etching, but as you can tell, the logo after now a couple months is also kind of gone. If you look at it really closely, you could still see it. So I'm still working with the supplier to get this, you know, looking exactly the way I want it to before I start selling these ropes. But like I said, beaded ropes, man, you can't go wrong with beaded ropes. I recommend beaded ropes because they're a lot easier to learn with especially if you're trying to learn tricks like some of the tricks that you see me doing beaded ropes are a lot easier for that because they're a little bit better to control these types of wiry kind of thin ropes are a lot better for speed so if you're trying to gain speed if you're trying to go for that those ropes are a lot better for that kind of thing but if you're trying to do tricks if you're trying to like do some freestyle kind of stuff. In my personal opinion, beaded ropes are a lot better for that. So as to how to start, where to start, how to get about beginning your jump rope journey, man, Honestly, you just gotta grab the rope, go outside and start jumping. I would recommend starting at smaller intervals. I used to go out every single morning when I first started and I would do an hour every single morning. And now reflecting back on that, I do realize that that was a little too aggressive. That's why I had the shin splints. That's why I had all that pain in my legs in the beginning, those first couple of weeks. So I definitely would recommend doing like maybe 15 minute sessions at a time and then literally go and rest. Like make sure you're stretching, make sure you're, so you don't get injured. Cause believe it or not, your body is not used to jumping up and down you know so once you do start doing that and if you really go aggressively at it your body is gonna hurt a little bit all right so go slow at it in the beginning man and just be consistent with it i honestly a lot of my tricks i learned through youtube i would literally just watch people do them over and over and i would practice them over and over if you could ask my fiance she would tell you she would be sitting on the couch doing her work and i would be in the kitchen spinning my rope around banging it against the ceiling so it really is just consistency man you gotta go at it you gotta keep practicing 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 and practice makes progress man and eventually you're gonna get better it didn't happen for me overnight this past September was actually a year since I started jumping rope so like I said it has not happened overnight it took me forever to learn some of these tricks the mic release that you always see me doing I'm not even joking you that probably took me like three months to land it took me so long not that it's gonna take you that long like I said the guy that I watched on YouTube it literally took him one day and one day he was able to catch that rope so for some people it's easier, some people are a little better coordinated. I wasn't, so it took me a little longer to learn. But like I said, man, it's just consistency. You gotta go at it every single day, every single day, every single day, and you will get better. Now let me explain to you really quickly why I jump rope on a more deeper level. I personally believe that exercise is one of the best ways of dealing with unhappiness, dealing with depression, and I did go through a little bit of that. I know a lot of you do as well. And exercise, like I said, I'm gonna say it again, is one of the best ways of dealing with that, all right? And I know that from experience, man. Every time I would be feeling a certain type of way, I would go to the gym, and as soon as I get home from the gym, I felt better. So I always tried to keep myself active. I always tried to keep myself doing some kind of exercise, some kind of physical activity every single day, because it does make you 
feel better, man. It makes your brain happy. It makes you feel like you accomplished something. So get into a routine, man. That's why jump roping for me. I love music, so doing this, just skipping around, man, to some good tunes, it's just so fun. So if you're like that, man, get out today, man. Go grab a rope and start jumping. I promise you, it changed my life. It might just change your life. Not only in the mental aspect, but like I said, man, this rope has helped me lose over 40 pounds, man. I struggled for about 10 years trying to find the right workouts, trying to find the right diet plans. And I'm telling you, this thing is literally a shredder of fat, all right? Your body is gonna change before your very eyes. I can't tell you how many times I would wake up in the morning, I'd walk in front of the mirror, I'd take my shirt off, and I'm just like, God damn, baby. So just keep going at it man it's gonna make you happier it's gonna make you feel better it's gonna make you lose weight man there's really no downsides there's no excuses and like I said man you could literally do it in your kitchen all right so once again there's no excuses all right if you're in a place in life where you might be unhappy you might be a little out of shape man you're just feeling blah go try and buy a rope man start jumping rope put on some good music some music that uplifts you some music that makes you feel good trust me it might just change your life thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna try to upload more videos regarding jump roping some tricks some tutorial stuff like that so if you're interested let me know once again thank you for the support thank you for the love i love you guys so much tune into my instagram tune into my tiktok watch my shorts on youtube man i upload those every single day tune in again next week for another video i love you guys so much i'll see you in a bit